In our previous class, we had seen how to create a variable and assign the data, what and all we have assigned under the default value for a variable to a particular component. Here we had considered the example of bind text. Now coming to the variables, if you click on plus, here you will see under the types a number of data types. Now there are primitive data types like the string, number and boolean and there are structured data types like the array, any can hold any kind of data over here. We can add the array, object, anything. We can add any kind of data to the any kind of variable. Then we are having an object, boolean, and there are array data provider, buffering data provider, multi-service data provider, service data provider, and also we can define our own type, and then we can tell this variable is based on the type which we have created. We can create our variable as per our data types by using this types feature. So by default, it is making use of those kind of structured and the primitive data types and the component data providers. By making use of variable which is of ADP that is a short form for array data provider, SDP that is service data provider, BDP that is buffering data provider, we can populate the components like the table component, select single component, list component, so and so forth things. We will learn in detail about how to make use of ADP, SDP, BDP in our classes going ahead. So as of now, you can think you can create a variable of type array, boolean, number, so and so forth things. What now option is available at the time of recording this class? I'm seeing those many options over here. Now coming to the constant, you can create similar kind of constants, but here you cannot create component based data types like the ADP, SDP in order to define the constant. Here you can create the constant saying message. It's better always to name the constants in uppercase. Let me just click on this create and we can provide some default value and that we can refer in our applications like go to the page designer and select the bind text and this usually the constant values won't change over the tab. So you can define something like this and the value will be displayed over here. So you can create the constants if your data doesn't change over the period of time. You can create the variables if your data gets changed over the period of time in your application. Like once we will assign some value and when the user does some operation on the pages, then you will assign some other thing. So these things you can do with the variable. As the name says, this is the variable and this is the constant. Now coming to the type, we will learn in detail how to create the type. We can create the custom type of our own that is based on the object, array and the enum. And also we can create based on the endpoint. Suppose we have any endpoint, integration REST API endpoint, ORDS API, then we can construct the type with the help of which we can create a variable to send the request payload in order to get the response payload and we can use the data what and all we assign to those variables in our application. So in detail we will learn how to make use of types, how to make use of variables in order to build the eye-catchy websites or the web pages.